So hello everyone and welcome to a sample evening with Daryl Woodtaker, a astrologer, and tonight he's going to um, do a reading for me. And we thought we'd um, just talk a little bit about alchemy and philosophy and um, healing modalities. So today is the 20th of January, 2023. And I'm really excited because I haven't had a chart done in over 20 years. Um, and of course, a lot has happened um, in the world in the last two years. So Daryl, welcome. And can you tell us a little bit about your work and what do, what do you do? And first of all, I just want to tell everyone you're 21 years old. So to be, to be in, in three days time? So 31, 32. In okay. So that's, that's an amazing thing to, to be doing at your age, astrology. So, so how did you get into this? Um, well, for me, um, I was deeply religious growing up, um, part of the Pentecostal church. And when I got to around 17, 18, my interest went away from just religion and normal mythology at school to looking towards religion that suited me as a as a black man with gods that you know looked like me resonated with me so I started to look at things like alchemy there was mystic psychology and astrology as well many other things here and there went really down the rabbit hole but astrology is the one that stuck with me it helped me to understand the universe that we live in in a succinct way helped me to un better understand myself as well, that the traits that I have, there's nothing wrong with me. These are traits that I have and I can use them to better myself and also help others as well. And it's, you know, it's been a long story since then, about 12 years and I'm loving it and I'm learning more every every day on the on the topic. As you were speaking, I was looking at the lovely image of the stars behind you with the, I like the ring around the earth. It sort of gives oh, you yes. a slight sense of, of hope, doesn't it, for the future. But I was also thinking of uh, the launch a year ago of the James Webb Telescope and that incredible piece of ingenuity that actually enables us to look at the far deeper into the universe, so into the stars. And it's unbelievable that we actually have that technology and how does this align with mindfulness, the mindfulness network for people of color? So um, everything that you just expressed about finding um, positive traits and positive or higher self and um, through um, through reconnecting through these, um, what do you call them, ancient modalities that, that have yes. always been part of Afro Afrocentric history. So, yes. So where did you learn astronomy then? Because it's it's not the average thing for young black male in the UK, is it? Um, No. So for me, I just read loads and loads and loads of books. I went down the rabbit hole. Um, I remember 12 years ago, you could get access to almost any book you wanted online just by writing the name of the book and putting in PDF afterwards it. And it would just turn up on Google. So I was downloading all of these books. I was buying books. You know, I was, it was just consistent, a lot of meditating because I just didn't feel like I was accepted for who I was. And I wanted to be accepted more by myself, but then also by others. And it helped me not just to better understand myself, but to better understand others. Um, and they say you can only meet someone else as deeply as you've met yourself so as I started going forward I realized I'm actually meeting people at such a deep place because I've understood myself I was able to accept people I got less angry when people did things that didn't suit what I felt um was quote-unquote right or wrong and I just started speaking to different people going to different events um as well and mixing different things together so the way i use astrology is a way of life for me i follow the moon cycle my new year is different but for me it's utilizing astrology with other techniques so mindfulness you know fitness 
um, even a little bit of neuroscience here and there, whatever interest comes to mind, I'm trying to my best to link that in with the the planets so that I can help people and realize, help them to realize they're perfect by design, which is like my 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 slogan, right? Because everybody is perfect. We just need to manifest that because we need to truly understand who we are, in my in my opinion, anyway. Perfect by design. That needs to be the motto for MIPC yeah, yeah. also. That is an incredible thing to to to, to actually hear. And I, I, I guess what I'm hearing is um, you turn to the stars for a solution when there was no role model or no, and no answers to some of the questions of where do I go, uh, I guess, to seek uh, a positive identity, a role model, or what was it that you were looking for? It was more of a spiritual identity, you know. Um, I had my mum to teach me about being successful, you know, in the worldly sense. Um, but then it was pretty much religion, which was telling me, you, you know, you're good or you're bad, just based on your your actions. But that confused me because I had this, I've always had this kind of innate sense, right and wrong is relative. What's right for one person may not be right for another person. And so I always wanted to know why am I different? Why are some of the things that have been said doesn't resonate? with me and so it was more connecting to the spiritual side of myself becoming more aware of that and what I can do as an individual to better connect and I think the great thing about astrology is that it shows you that there are different ways that everybody operates so that they can connect to their higher self because spirit has no personality I believe we're all one in the bigger picture of things there's only one consciousness okay. right there's one okay. awareness but it has an infinite amount of eyes that it sees the universe through so then how do we say that there's only one right thing for everybody to do it, that, that didn't make sense if there's so many different experiences that spirit wants to have and i think astrology helped me to recognize the different types of experiences individuals wanted and it also helped me to encourage people and say, well, if you want to experience the world like this, because this is how your energetic frequency is whilst you're here during this incarnation, that's fine. You know, here it is. Utilize it the best way that that you can, because that's the game of life, isn't it? To experience the beauty and the majesty of living in a physical body as a spiritual being, you know, what? What better is there? That's why I think religions say that the angels were jealous of us because we have choice and free will to do what it is that makes us feel great whilst we're here for just a short time in the bigger picture of, of things. Well, I, first of all, I'm glad I made your acquaintance before you become very rich and famous in the next few years. Um, but um, uh, in a nutshell, for our, our viewers and our audiences, what is astrology? Astrology is looking at the movements in the in the sky, in the stars, and relating that back to how it affects us here on Earth in a practical way. Great, great. And okay, so just as we begin to wrap up, and obviously you you will be doing a few workshops around the country, and hopefully one forum on PC. Um, what what should people look look out for for twenty twenty three? What's, what's happening generally? What are some of the things that can help prepare us? So for 2023, um, something that I always do, I always do full moon and new moon meditations, um, which I do every two and a bit weeks. Um, and I've got a astrology cheat sheet, which I'll be making very soon, which is just going to give you all of the basics, which is going to be a free download um, for everybody to have. And then there's going to be a full astrology um, course that I'm going to be doing and then a six-week workshop which will take someone from not knowing anything about astrology or working with astrology and themselves because there's a bit of coaching in there as well and helping them to set up the habits that they need including mindfulness so that they can be aware of the subtle changes that are happening so that's just a few of the things that I okay well, you are amazing. Thank you for, for the, your work and I wish you all the best in your journey and um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the course. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you.